For over 30 years, photographer William Rasdell has been using art to explore life in the Americas. His travels to places like Trinidad, Puerto Rico, and Cuba have allowed him to quietly record stories of daily life in images rather than words. This calling of using the faces, vistas, and landscapes of a culture to tell the story of its people began simply enough. From the very first camera that I got living in New York, uh, I would go uh, all around New York City and meet with people, people I didn't even know. Uh, if I saw something going on, I was there. And with my camera, I was able to, to get photographs uh, and use those photographs to almost study uh, different cultures, uh, learning what different costumes might mean or what different musical genres might represent. Uh, so it became a study and it <laughs> has almost become an obsession. Grasdell found himself drawn to recording the African influence in the Americas. That fascination led him to an even deeper exploration of the culture and the spirit of the Cuban people. Cuba is an interesting blend, uh, and one aspect of the blend that I'm most drawn to is how that African presence has become uh, linked to the mainstream, its uh, vibrancy in uh, music and in dancing and food and in just general living. I think it's that whole spirit of uh, enjoying life that uh, I get out of Cuba and I think that's a very strong African contribution. Drawn to Havana by an interest in the Cuban music called rumba, Bill found himself in Callejón de Jamel. It's not just a, a, a musical venue, it's not just an art gallery, it's not just a place for tourists to come and, and part with their dollars. There's a true community there. Uh, that family has uh, created schools, art schools for the kids. Uh, there is an uh, herbalist in the, in the compound. There's just uh, so much going on. People come there uh, for spiritual guidance. People come there for the just daily sustenance. It's, it's an interesting place. It's a, a very spiritual place. The artist Salvador Gonzalez has his studio in this space. And it's surrounded by these uh, uh, tenement houses that he's painted these fabulous murals on, some of them as much as six stories high. And it's been an inspiration for a lot of the work that I've done. Bill says he uses his camera as an artist's notebook or sketch pad. His artistic expression comes after the film is developed. But I scan my film into the computer and use Adobe Photoshop primarily to manipulate the images, to enhance the images. There's one image back to basics. I wanted to really emphasize the, the, the movement that, uh, of the music that they were playing at that time. And uh, with a variety of filters that I use, uh, you really can feel the movement when you look at that image. Yeah. The colors, uh, it's just, an, uh, you can see the excitement, feel the excitement. Getting others to develop an appreciation of that feeling is part of Bill's mission back here in Indianapolis. As part of the new media workshop, a collaboration between Bill, the Martin Luther King Center, Urban Arts Indianapolis, and the Villages of Indiana. He uses his photos to help young people gain their own cultural insight. So the assignment that uh, I gave out last week, I gave everyone uh, a, a disposable camera. Uh, and we're studying youth culture in a couple of different places. And it's a chance for them to, one, think about some things in a different uh, way, uh, to look at how they, as uh, a youth culture here in the United States, are being perceived in other places, and in particular, Cape Town, South Africa, and Havana, Cuba. In February 2007, Bill will show all of his adventures in Callejón de Jamel when an exhibit of his photos goes on display at the Indianapolis Museum of Art. Three decades ago, a young man stopped to fix a bicycle tire in Central Park and got a used camera as payment in return. So if you believe in Providence, you might think Bill was destined to do what he's doing. From this chance encounter, William Rasdell came to live a dream, traveling the world to bring back beautiful images of the cultures that enrich it. But for him, it is much simpler than that. It's a chance to share that life one-on-one -on -one with others, both old and young. I have a good time. I've met some beautiful people. I've had a chance to share those experiences with other people, and that for me is the best thing.